space program. We are going forward. January 1986, we are the President's forward State of the Union message. And we're going forward with research on a new Orient Express that could, by the end of the next decade, take off from Dulles Airport, accelerate up to 25 times the speed of sound, attaining low Earth orbit, or flying to Tokyo within two hours. Today, development of the National Aerospace Plane, or X-30, is a joint project of NASA and the Defense Department. We have the Navy, the Air Force, uh, we have the Strategic Defense Initiative, we have the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency as part of the steering team as well. The space plane will take off and land under power horizontally like any other airplane and have an orbital and cruise capability. To orbit, it will accelerate to 24 times the speed of sound to fly directly into space. It will cruise at about 5,000 miles an hour at 200 to 300,000 feet. These goals present major technological challenges. The key technical problems, though, amongst the myriad of them, are the propulsion system. The next big problem is materials. We've got to have a, a material system or systems which allow us to build an airplane that will encounter air, which will have temperatures of around 5,000 to 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the third one is really the integration of engines and airplane and materials and controls and everything else that you can think of into a package which is not immense. Designers plan for the National Aerospace Plane to be about the same size as these commercial airliners, but it will fly 10 times faster than any of them. Warren Lee, AFRTS, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. The military has always tried to fly faster, farther, and higher. From these primitive beginnings, we now fly pretty much routinely at twice the speed of sound. The National Aerospace Plane will advance that to 24 times the speed of sound, and altitudes literally out of this world as it flies nonstop and direct to Earth orbit. Dr. Robert Bartholomew is director of DOD's National Aerospace Plane Joint Program Office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. The, one of the, the major interests on the military side is the possibility of being able to go from any place in the United States, or any place in the world for that matter, to any other place in the world in about two hours. And so the possibility of going there and having a presence, for example, in the case of a terrorist act or a, a hijacking of an airplane, the United States could put a force uh, there almost instantly to deal with this situation before it got out of hand. It's a revolutionary step, much like the development of the airplane was. And as a national program, as a, a program where we as a nation can come together and commit to doing this and, okay. and carrying out the program, it'll change uh, the, the country and it will allow us to maintain our very strong leadership in the aerospace area, both military and, and civilian. At least five other countries are working on aerospace plane projects of their own. The Soviet Union has a major program underway, as do Britain, France, and Germany. And Japan recently announced plans to spend $15 billion over the next 10 years on their project. Warren Lee, AFRTS, at NASA's Langley Research Center, Hampton, Virginia.